Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Welcome to my incredibly organised life. We're talking about moving house again. As you can see, well, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know there's usually many more fish tanks in my office. There's currently one that's still got water in it because that's where all the plants are living at the moment. Broken down this tank over here though. And well, just about broken down. There's still some slurry in the bottom. And that presents a problem. And it's a problem I've not really known what to do about, but I have a solution. I can't believe I didn't do it years ago, if I'm completely honest. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is a tank that's a little bit too heavy for me to lift on my own. It's kind of two and a half foot cubed or three foot cubed, I can never remember which. As you can see, boxes everywhere. More boxes. Holes in the wall that I've completely forgotten about. Um, big can of gas. So, in here is my big discus tank, and this is what first prompted me to look into this solution. It's just too heavy. I, even two people, so it's only me and my wife, are the only adults here. We can't lift this on our own. Normally with a small fish tank, I'd empty it as much as I can, get as much of the crud out as I can, and then just lift the tank outside, give it a good shugle, spray it down with a hose. That's it, clean tank. Can't do that with this, so I've been scratching my head a little bit. And bought this thing. Ta-da! It's quite a simple thing really, I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. A shop vac, a wet dry vacuum cleaner that just sucks up all the all the liquid, all the sand, anything that's left at the bottom that I can't get out. Makes it nice and dry and easy to clean and easy to move. So I'll use that on that tank to clean it up. But I just thought I'd show you a little bit of the we're kind of a couple of days away from moving. But still got loads of fish tanks everywhere, even though I've set up another fish room. We've got fish tanks in here, we've got fish tanks in the office, fish tanks in the garden, fish tanks in the garage. Even more at the storage unit. So, got loads of them to clean out. Let's get the vacuuming done and then I'll show you where the rest of the fish tanks are. Too many fish tanks. Yes, I cheaped out a little bit and bought the cheapest one they had. Um, I just wasn't sure it was going to work and do what I wanted it to do, but it does. Boiler alert, it does. It's basically just a big vacuum on top. Um, it does wet and dry. For wet you have this little filter here. Dry just has like a normal hoover bag, but that sits on top. And then it's just a bucket that fills with all the crud that you want to suck up. It does do suck and blow. Uh, try not to confuse those two, because that makes for quite the mess, as I found out to my cost. So, the hose attaches at this end, but it does have another attachment there where you can make it a blower. For whatever reason you want to get it to blow things. It's very loud. I'm going to use it on this tank to clean it out. And then we're going to have a look at all the other tanks in the middle of the move. Cover your ears. Well, you get the picture. You've got something that's just too big to move on your own, but you need to get the crud out the bottom. Fantastic solution. Right, let's crack on, shall we? Then these are the fish tanks that are actually in use. So this is my flat that I've rented to temporarily house all my fish. And they're all doing well, so we've got the discus tank here, I'm doing a water change, so everyone's huddling up in a corner, as they like to do. Humphrey's here, being as grumpy as usual. He's already drawn blood today, when I've tried to do a water change on his tank. Nothing unusual there. Um, all the guppies and endlers are doing well. I've had zero deaths along here, so I've been doing really well, I should probably touch wood. Before I say that, this is the only tank that's been concerning me because as you can see it's still quite murky. This is the tank where the cardinals did die. Um, I just can't get it clear. I've got a big massive sponge filter at the back, another one, a uh, smaller one here, but I think I need to bring in another, maybe a hang on back or an external filter or something a bit more powerful to try and clear this water up. The, the water parameters are fine, fine in internet speak. 
so it's just a water clarity issue but it is full of bristle nose plecos and they are quite mucky and they do kick things up so it is what it is and then the angel tank which is doing really well and as you can see some coolie loaches which were a complete surprise to me as I was not aware I had any coolie loaches until I broke down my big discus tank they were living in the sump of the big discus tank and these are really cool fish weird fish but really cool um, so yeah everything's doing alright here so these are the working tanks this is what I've got to move once we get into the new house And then all of a sudden, there are no tanks. That is where my big discus tank was. Everything's gone. And this is my office. My kind of mini fish room. And this is where I do my live streams. The camera's usually right there. All gone. Hope the new people have got stocks and polyfiller. Anyway, off to the new place. New chapter awaits. <laughs>